Um, hello YouTube. Uh, this is a video about some stuff I've been working on in my Tau Army. Uh, for my birthday, which was back in February, uh, I received these Tau Vespid Sting Wings, and I ran into some trouble. Uh, I don't think it shows it on the back, actually. No. But, um, the sprue, I'll just use this guy for example, the wings and the head are here and here. Actually, one's up there, but, um, they're connected with a bar about that big. So they're really hard to, uh, like, put on the bases. So what I did, I just used my store-bought clippers, and they cut through the pewter very well. I just cut the bottoms of the bar off, and it works fine, so they don't have any of the bar, and I had to cover that up with epoxy putty. So let me go ahead and show you, instead of just talking about it. These are the almost finished. I have to do some painting, highlighting, and um, put in the rest of pieces together, of course. But these are the six Vespid Stinglings. They're all metal, and I don't really like metal models. Probably said this before, but it's really hard to work with. See, this one's not even staying where it's supposed to be, so I'll just go through and show you stuff I've done. I used a mixture of sawdust and um, sand for their bases. Thought maybe like a mountain cave look to them. And I just used epoxy putty right there to get their feet to stick. So it looks like the mud almost is on their feet. I just did the basic, I think it was, um, I used shadow gray and just a space wolf's gray mixture, which is actually shadow gray and white, um, a little darker, and then just did some washing. So you go, it's a basic shape. Here's one with the head on it, but it's not finished yet. I don't know if you can see that. This camera's not got a very good focus. In the no, I can't zoom in. Okay, so there you go. My strain leader, I actually bent the pewter to make it look like he was running because they are the fast attack and pointing. Oh. So it's pretty cool. Um, he's got his gun there. I'm going to put his head where it's supposed to be. His wings, these are the larger wings, so I wanted to make him look more vicious. I think it did pretty well. Here's just another guy. Smaller wings. I think there's maybe three, two to three different wing variations. So there you go. This guy's foot is actually like in the epoxy because of the big thing of mud. So I think they turned out very nicely. I've been leaving them down so that the uh, glue would dry and they wouldn't be misshapen or weird. Want that. So there we go. Um, that's about it. Hope you liked it. Bye.